All right, fishy folks, we're at Trop Aquarium, Tropical Fish Supplies. Looks like a pretty big store. Let's go inside and take a look. Of course, I've already been inside. I asked if I could film. And uh, they said, of course. I was like, okay, here I come. So, uh, looks like a pretty big store. Got tanks over there, we'll check that out. Looks like a decent sized marine section. And uh, hey, that's me. And uh, cabinets, those homemade cabinets too. That I saw at the other store. All right, let's take a look. Hundred twenty, four foot, one hundred twenty, two seventy-five. That's not terrible. Stand two hundred five. Gotta finish it yourself. I like these little lids. Sixteen bucks for a ten-gallon. Lots of tanks. Fifty-five. Let's take a quick walk around. Don't need to. Stop at every tank. 84 gallon. That's that's a very interesting shaped tank. Wow. It's like a I don't know, it's like a six foot tank, two feet high. Maybe 18 inches wide. That's interesting. Aqua top 40 gallon cube. Bio cube. 85 gallon galaxy open. Okay. Another big cube, 100 gallon cube. So, not your standard tanks. We got some acrylic tanks. 60 gallon, 250. Not bad. Of course, the Aquion kits. All right. Let's look at some fishies. Nice little reef setup. Possibly I'm working on a deal on a tank where I might set up a reef, you never know. Looks like they just got a fish order in. Got some clowns. I'm gonna go sort of quickly, I think, through the marine. If you guys wanna see more marine stuff, certainly let me know in the comments below. Um, I did a poll once about guppies or plecos or flower horns and the majority of people said guppies so I'm sticking with that kind of stuff of course everyone likes a fish store tour that's a nice little clown um, but if you guys want to see something else let me know tanks look clean looks like they're uh, either doing maintenance or putting fish away or putting fish away see if uh, he wants to talk. Hey, you want to talk on camera? No, All right. Doesn't want to talk on camera. Yeah, so it looks like they're acclimating their fish. Mind your way? Oh, okay. So yeah, they're just, I'm gonna get out of this section because they're working hard, putting fish away. I don't want to be in their way, obviously. So filter stuff. Uh, all right, back to fresh water. Looks like customers, so we're gonna try and stay out of their way. We got some plants labeled nice. Interesting acrylic tanks here. It looks like they're they're all separate. Is that an under gravel? Yeah, it looks like there's under gravel. Fold on. I don't know if it's working or not, but got some tetras and rainbows, blushing angelfish. And some koi angel fish. All the tanks so far appear to be scaped pretty nice. Looks like these are acrylic. More plants. Christmas moss wreath. Aww. Got some swords with some deficiencies. Okay. Ferns. Most of the plants look nice. No fish in there underground filter going on which is interesting for 
planted tanks, but okay. This is all the. This is all you. Uh, these are all the. Uh, trying to hear what that guy was gonna say. Besides some small ones, yes. Okay, I saw the small ones. They're too small for me. Where was that? Get out Get of their way. Or is that six? Is that six there? That's a six I'll take that little, that big guy here. Take a look over here. We got these creepy goldfish. Red or yeah, the gold ones. Swords and neons. They're making it good now. There's, there's, they're hanging in there. And uh, I mean, the tanks are escaped all differently. It looks pretty nice. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, where were we? Got some peacocks, some Oscars. You can't keep peacocks and Oscars together. They're from different parts of the world. <laughs> so Donna's cat. All right, it says there's a $10 flower horn in here. Oh, look right there. Oscars, that's a nice one right there. All the tanks look pretty healthy. Oh, we're skipping lower tanks. Little baby angels. Oh, I almost missed the guppies. One tank of guppies, four dollars a pair. Mmm, some of them look okay. All right, I'm gonna try to get out of everyone's way. Very busy store. Sorry for rushing. We don't want to be in their way though. Cichlids, Africans. Dragon goby down there. Says there's a silver arrow in here. He's got to look at the top. I don't. Oh, there he is. Little guy. Looking good. How about a 10 gallon acrylic tank? 108 bucks. Turtle. Red ear sliders, 24 bucks each. Uh, a plecoama glass. And some angels. Some more live bears over there. All right, let's see what we got over here. Go shrimp. Green spider puffers. Goldfish. What is in here? Feeders. And goldfish. Peter Goldfish. And maybe more Peter Goldfish. Yeah. Alright. Pretty cool. More Africans. I gotta be honest, the tanks look really nice. Uh, lots of goldfish. Lots of substrate. Look how much substrate is here. And uh, nice looking tank. Freshwater fish, just like Las Vegas. Neon sign almost. All right, what do we got down here? SpongeBob tank. <gasps> Koi swordtails, but they're red eyes. I don't like the red eyes. And some Corys with SpongeBob. See anything in there? Okay. Got some discus. You catching some fish? Yeah, I grabbed some discus from here. You mind if I film you doing it? Sure. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel? Yes. How long you worked here? Four or five years, something like that. Do you uh, keep fish at home? I do, yes. What kind of fish do you keep? Fancy plecos or little shell dwellers mostly. I like small stuff. Yeah. How many tanks do you have? There's two. Nice. What kind of fancy plecos? I have a mega clown, a leopard frog, a long fin clown, and a um, Colombian sea tank. Nice. I breed plecos, nothing fancy, just your standard super reds and albinos. Those are nice though. Yeah, yeah. And guppies, I have like 55 tanks. 
Yeah, website, YouTube, you know. Thanks for talking to us. Can you help us let us know? I will. Anything I really need to see while I'm here? Shark, a coach cat in that sandy tank over there? You like big fish? Uh, I like showing big fish. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was hanging out with that earlier. So uh, um, out. I'll go check it out. Where is it? Uh, that tank with the sand on your left hand side up top. In the, the last one? That, uh, this one right here. Come on, let's go look. Is. That is pretty cool. So. Giant sand shark. I assumed it was a shark, but it looks like a pleco. And this is a 55 acrylic tank, which looks pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Is that a shovel nose? Wow. That he wasn't kidding. That's that's pretty cool. No, that's a shovel nose. I don't know what that is. Look at that thing. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, what else? What do we skip? Some plecos. It says there's angels in here, but I don't see any. Cichlids. Little flower horns and some other stuff. Asian leaf fish. Black ghost, yep. And some nice silver angels. Okay. Look at the turtle's belly. Uh, more cichlids. Tiger barbs. Platties. Kinda looks pretty healthy. That's good. Nothing. It says, oh yeah, albino. It says albino marble sailfin pleco. I'd like to see the sailfin, but they're definitely albino. They're definitely cool. Some discus and rainbows. Cichlids. More guppies. Bad. Not bad. What do we got on this side? Uh oh. Man down. That's a shame. All right, moving on. Cardinals. And it says there's a pleco in here. Oh, look at that in the back. See, it's yellow. Oh. I don't mean to scare you, little feller, but at least we saw you. Those dwarf cats. I can't say the name. Petricola. Okay. Uh, what are these <laughs> clown loaches? All right, balloon rams. Electric blue balloon rams. Not a fan of the balloons and some ember tetchers. Some nice looking swords. Crabs. Albino tiger barbs. All right, there were a lot of people in that house, so I moved. Mixed fruit tetris. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Dwarf neon rainbows, these are pretty cool. If I ever did rainbows, I might do these because they're not as creepy looking as the full-size rainbows. I'm not a big fan of the rainbow. Says there's a Colombian pleco in there, maybe back there. Oh, and there's one too. Cool. Cooly loaches, they're creepy too. Albino bushy nose, little tiny ones, and some pleco, I mean some uh, angels. 
Tiger Barbs. Again, all the tanks look really nice. Look clean, fish look healthy. Found one auto that was didn't make it, but you know, they're a little sensitive. More rainbows, no. What am I saying? Colombian Tetras and Serpes. Red Eye Tetras on sale, $1.49 each. And it says there's, oh, look at the Pleco tail right there. All right, Pleco and Gwarmies. Aha. Down here we have some shrimp, all different colors, female bettas. Some really skinny looking mollies. Yep. Bloodfin tetras, $1.49 each. Not a bad schooling fish to put in a tank with some angels or something. Alright. Cichlid. Miss guppies down here. It's interesting. They have guppies in different places. I guess because it's a, such a big store. Yeah, they look a little skinny too. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Some goldfish. Pea puffers. They're so cute and little and pea puffer like. And giant danios. They're humongous. Oh man, they're they're just they move so fast. Oh, they're annoying me. All right, some uh, Jack Dempsey's and a bunch of other stuff. Green Phantom Pleco L200, 40 bucks for that guy. That's not bad. That's actually not terrible. I gotta be honest. Um, looks like we have some Rams and Longfin White Cloud. That's pretty cool. Ugh. Glowfish, not a fan. Electric green glow barbs, not a fan. All right. Some cardinals, nice size cardinals. Long thin calico bushy nose. You see that pleco anywhere? People, I see, oh, right there. Little one. Only 25 bucks for that little one. I'm gonna have to start looking for those and breed them. All right, some shrimp. Those are labeled as black neon treacherous, but those things are ginormous. Wow. I've never seen black neons that big. They're only two bucks. Wow. You might have to ask. So we got a lot of a lot of dry goods. The fancy plant section. Uh, I'm gonna try to go back to the other row, see if we can't. Oh, there's a little catfish for you. I can get the glare better. And a big pleco. This must be the drop off the ginormous fish tank. <laughs> All right, so there's still people here, but let's see if I can get down here. Cribs and crabs. Uh, some gold rams and some platinum angels. And some cats. Got some more Colombian tetras. Painted glass fish. They're not really painted. Cardinals, big cardinals too. The crappy little fish. Some more platies. Nice quarries. Egg is easy. Crabs. More angels. Some discus. All right. Let's check out their food. They got that aisle just kind of in pieces. So there are those stands. It looks like somebody local makes them. They're pretty nice. They have to be finished, obviously. I'm surprised they don't carry some finished ones in stock. Come in for a tank, you're gonna wanna finish stand. All right, food section. Laguna, uh, koi food. Of course, we got the Hakari. 
and Southern Delight. Oh, I forgot to look at that flower horn food at the other shop. Darn it. Maybe I'll go back. No, I won't. New Life Spectrum, Seachem, Tetra, Cobalt, Fluval Bug Bites. Decent selection of food. What is this? High probiotics, new vision. All right, interesting. Little case right there. Nice little nano tank. Betas, tiny little cups. You can buy better water. Sponge filters, breeding boxes. That's cool, they sell those. Better bowls. Decent selection of lights. Oh, let's see, what, what, what should we buy? If we were gonna buy a decoration. Oh, I mean, clearly I would buy this, but I've seen this in a few stores now, but 30 bucks, I'm not paying 30 bucks. You want to buy it for me for Christmas? Have at it. There's the at 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 Star Trek stuff. Not as cool as the Millennium Falcon, but if I were to buy something, it would be that, of course. But that sub is pretty cool too. All right, let's see if anybody wants to talk on camera. Oh, they have the frozen food section. Ocean Nutrition, some Hikari, San Francisco Bay brand, all the normal stuff. What is this? What brand is that? Oh, V2O Foods. That was that other fish food. And they have some, some stuff behind the counter. All right, guys. That's it. I think I feel like I was in the way in this store, and I don't like doing that, so... I'll ask if anybody wants to talk, and if they do, we'll be back. And if not, michaelsfishroom.com.